Hi, this is Bang Malaman kung paano magsimula ng piso net business. Stay tuned sa video. Hi, welcome to my channel JCP Projects. I am JCP. Uh, kamusta po kayong lahat? So sa video ito, ipabahagi ko yung mga uh, kaalaman ko tungkol sa pagsisimula ng piso net business. So kung gusto nyo uh, malaman kung paano ang uh, mga hakbang at mga kinakailangan nyo gawin para magsimula ng PesoNet business, uh, manood lang po kayo and um, stay tuned. So, unang, una kailangan nyo ng space uh, or lugar na paglalapagan ng mga computer units nyo. So, kung meron na kayong space sa bahay, hindi, mas okay yon kasi hindi na, hindi na uh, nyo na kailangan magbayad ng rent. Um, so, pag, pag wala naman kayong space, pwede naman kayong mag-rent sa kapitbahay or kamag-anak nyo sa lugar nyo. Maghanap kayo ng space. Uh, uh, yung pwede nyo rentahan uh, paglalapagan ng mga uh, negosyo sa so, PisoNet uh, so importante yun kung wala kayong space medyo mahihirapan kayo magtayo ng PisoNet negosyo o kung maliit lang yung space nyo medyo mahirap yun uh, at least uh, yung space ay eh, at least makakasya yung at least 10 units palagay ko 10 units ay eh, okay na yun but the bigger the bigger the space the better kasi uh baka later on mag unit uh, kailangan may pa ng uh, more space so uh the bigger the better uh, pag wala yung space uh, medyo mahirap yun. so una yung kailangan space talagang uh, importante yung marketing space next kailangan yun ng internet service provider or ISP uh para kay mer kayo internet kasi uh Kung wala kayong available uh, ISP service sa lugar nyo, medyo mahirap yun. Ang uh, gagawin ng mga tao sa inyo, hindi walang internet. Diba? It's common sense. So, you need to find out kung ano yung available na ISP sa lugar nyo. Uh, check it, uh, check nyo kung meron ko yung meron bang PLDT or Globe or um, other ISP that offer service sa lugar nyo and uh, sa akin dito uh, dito ko sa Cebu uh, meron PLDT yung ginagamit ko yung uh, 25 uh, megabits per second uh, mabilis na yun so okay yun uh, you need to have a, a internet service provider in your area para makawagsimula kayo ng business negosyo uh, pangatlo eh, syempre kailangan nyo ng mga computers so, uh, computer units, uh, mag-research kayo kung ano ang available sa lugar nyo. Meron bang nagbebenta ng mga computer units. Yung, meron akong, uh, alam ko, meron mga ibang uh, seller na nagbebenta na ng uh, ready-made PisoNet uh, computer units. Uh, meron ng computer, tsaka meron ng timer, coin slot, kaplag nyo na lang, lalagyan na lang ng internet. Uh, it's ready to go. So, uh, pag meron yung ganun na available sa lugar nyo, uh, so research nyo rin. Okay ba yung supplier na yun? Sa so, yung parts, uh, okay ba yung parts, uh, and yung price, uh, okay ba? Baka later on, bibili kayo, bulok naman. Uh, so, mag-research kayo. Bago kayo bumili ng you uh, computers or units or piece net all in one ready to go uh, magtanong kayo okay so kung wala kayong medyo kalaman about computers then uh, get some recommendations uh, galing sa isang technician yung uh, magaling and then so kung makahanap kayo ng computers tapos uh, computers lang walang uh, yung coin slot at timer then you know, mag kailangan yun ng yung tinatawag na uh, PisoNet box, yung actual timer and coin slot na doon yung kakabit yung computer nyo or unit nyo para yung gagana yung 
uh, time. Uh, so, meron yung, yung outdoor type at saka yung indoor type, uh, tabletop. Uh, next is, kailangan nyo ng technician. So, again, kailangan nyo ng technician kung, uh, yung, or kung kayo, meron kayong alam about computers, kaya uh, yung mag-troubleshoot or mag-setup or at lahat tungkol sa computer, at least basic computer knowledge, then plus yun. Uh, di nyo na kailangan ng technician. So, di nyo na kailangan ng technician para mag-maintain ng mga units nyo. Kung may uh, problem, kayo na yung mismo yung mag-troubleshoot. Uh, pero kung konti lang yung knowledge nyo, uh, then I would recommend mag-hire kayo ng technician. At saka kung nag-hire kayo ng technician, uh, later on, magpaturo naman kayo sa technician. You know, as an owner, uh, advantage yun na ikaw mismo meron kang alam about computers or kung hindi mo konti lang yung knowledge mo, I recommend na mag-research kayo mismo. Uh, read a little bit and uh, you know, maraming video sa YouTube and, or you can Google, you can makibasa kayo and at least madagdagan yung knowledge nyo sa computer kasi yun yung negosyo nyo eh so, kailangan nyo yung technician para mag-maintain, troubleshoot, and repair kung hindi nyo kaya the next one is kailangan nyo ng magandang location yung maganda yung market potential so for instance, magtatayo ka ng piso net, meron kayo yung ISP, meron kayo yung uh, space Okay, magayang makakabili kayo ng computers pero tatayin nyo naman dun sa walang tao so, or mahirap uh, you know, mahirap yung access walang masyadong dumadaan o wala kayong kapitbahay so mahirap din yun, wala kayong customer paano susurvive yung business nyo if you live in an area na uh, makapal or thick yung population or kung maraming kayong kapitbahay or maraming tao dumadaan sa inyo or exposed kayo sa for instance na sa uh, roadside kayo nakatira advantages yun kasi uh, makikita yung pisunit nyo ng maraming tao so that's really important kahit na meron kayong uh, ibang may pisunit na dyan competitor okay lang yun uh, kasi maraming tao hindi naman nila ma uh, uh, accommodate lahat ng customer so hati hati kayo dyan okay lang yun Nasa sa inyo yun kung uh, gusto niyo pa rin magtayo or lalaban kayo or magsisimula kayo. Uh, advice ko lang doon kung, kung gano'n, meron ng mga ibang uh, bisonet sa lugar nyo. Eh, di, uh, galingan niyo yung bisonet nyo. Kailangan meron kayong something na wala sa kanila. Meron kayong uh, yung tinatawag na UVP or Unique Value Proposition yung something na, na nasa sa inyo lang uh, for instance, uh, you can you know, offer na extra service like kung walang printer sa kabila, meron kayong printer or uh, meron kayong piso wifi or something that's, uh, that's unique to your uh, business ayun lang yung offer uh, so, you know, you can also uh, offer uh, snacks, drinks uh, it's up to you imagination gamitin it so ganun yun uh, be unique stand out and uh, be uh, better than your competitors of course you need to have capital yung uh, kailangan nyo ng pera para makapagsimula ng negosyo uh, di naman di naman kayo makakabili ng computers wala kayong capital di ba um, Kung meron na kayong uh, save, save savings or meron na kayong extra cash, then good for you. Pag wala naman, um, pwede kayong mag-save muna. Uh, save na. Hindi naman kinakalangan na, you know, uh, agad-agad marami na yung units nyo. Kailangan nyo lang uh, starting at least uh, 5 or even 3 units. Uh, tatlong units lang. Uh, Pag tingin nyo, maraming customer pinipilahan yung computers nyo, then that's a sign na nagdagan uh, nyo ng units, di ba? So, paunti-unti lang yun. Hindi naman kailangan na you know, maramihan ka agad. Para sa mga taong gusto mo invest uh, kung meron siya, mayroon kayong lot, uh, like space, lahat ng mga din-discuss to dito, mayroon kayong space, mayroon kayong ISP, 
available sa area nyo, meron kayong uh, source para sa mga computer parts nyo, um, meron kayong capital, meron kayong uh, uh, good location, meron kayong good market potential, then by all means, para sa inyo yung ganitong klase negosyo. PCNet is uh, really I would say personally, I think PCNet is uh, one of the best and uh, easiest types of business that you can uh, put up and profit from. Kung gusto nyo mag-negosyo, stimulan nyo as soon as possible. But only until kung handa na kayo, prepared na kayo, nag-research na kayo, and uh, all everything is laid out and uh, planned out. Then and 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 you're uh, ready to go. Then you go. Pero pag hindi pa kayo ready, hindi, hindi kayo nag research. Na kayo alam. Wag kayo <laughs> magkamaling na uh, diretso kasi you will fail. You will fail. Ubus niyo pera mo. The last requirement is you need to have time, personal time, kasi it will demand your time to build this business. And also, you need to have uh, uh, the human factor. Uh, kayong, dapat meron kayong inspired kayo magsimula ng uh, negosyo. Uh, meron kayong drive. Talagang gusto, gusto nyo uh, mag, makapagtayo ng uh, klaseng negosyo. Uh, uh, resourceful kayo. Uh, uh, ma magaling kayo maghanap ng solution uh, sa lahat ng ma-encounter ng uh, problems or potential problems or issues uh, sa pagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapag ng 2020 negosyo. You need to have perseverance kasi hindi uh, naman uh, hindi natin kontrolado yung uh, there's always an unknown. So, you just need to persevere. You need to keep at it until you reach your goal. Uh, you need to have patience uh, and you, have, you need to have motivation. I mean, you, what motivates you? you? You want to have a business like this so you can generate more, you can provide for your family or provide for yourself or generate more uh, income for yourself. Uh, it's a good way, it's a good source of extra income or even the main source of income for some people. Dapat hindi kayo tamad, hindi kayo nagpo procrastinate procrastinating uh, so kaya dapat marunong kayo mag uh, marunong kayo mag manage ng uh, time nyo yung personal time so you need uh, and then setting goals or uh, important yun. you need to set goals meeting them on time so don't waste your time just uh, go forward and, and uh, really uh, focus on on uh, achieving your goals lastly this is just all advice. Advice lang po ito. Uh, dapat, uh, you need to know that uh, all businesses, no matter how small or big, always carries risk. And especially sa negosyo, the risk is uh, high. Uh, with that said, uh, I think personally, if you are prepared, you know what you're doing, and you've done uh, your due diligence, ng kapag research kayo, lahat lahat ng dapat niyong kailangan malaman at may handa, okay. uh, there's a really big chance that you will succeed in whatever business you will go into. Uh, okay, yung pumasok sa negosyo hindi hindi niyo alam, kasi uh, you will always have a bigger bigger uh, chance to fail. With that said, this is the end of the video. Salamat sa pag uh, manood, manood ng video. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and share sa social media nyo uh, sa video nito. That's it. Bye-bye. See you next time.